Here's a video where we're going to see how to assign suppliers to products. What we're going to cover is why you'd want to assign suppliers to products, specifically creating a purchase order from the low stock report, drop shipping direct from supplier, or creating purchase orders from batches of sales orders. And then we're also going to see how to assign the suppliers to those products in a number of different ways. So the most common reason for having suppliers assigned to your products is for making purchase orders easier and quicker using the low stock report. We can get to the low stock report at products, low stock report. This shows all of the items below the minimum stock level, but to create a purchase order, we'd actually have to filter this list to show products from only one vendor. So let's choose Kenoki Industries here, filter the report, which shows all of the items below the minimum stock for that supplier, and we simply hit create purchase order. That's now created a purchase order for all of those products, we just need to tweak the quantities and send it off to the supplier. Another reason for connecting suppliers to products is when you want to drop ship. So here we have a sales order for a large format printer. We can see that we have zero on hand on this particular warehouse, so we want to get our supplier to send it directly. We'll hover over Fulfill, click Partial or Advanced Fulfillment, and there's a separate video that shows you all about drop shipping. We can see that there's none available in our main warehouse, we do have some in our overstock warehouse, but because this product is connected to the supplier and the supplier has a price for it, we now have the option to create a dropship purchase order to send this item directly to the customer. We'll choose a shipping method and then click to create a purchase order, which we can see at the bottom of the screen. And the last reason you might want to connect suppliers to products is when you want to create a batch purchase order for a load of sales in one go. So here we have the sales list. If I select all of these sales and then from the actions menu choose batch purchase orders. There are a number of options here. We won't go into the detail, but for those products that are connected to suppliers, we'll create a purchase order all in one go. And if a product is connected to multiple suppliers, then multiple purchase orders are created. There's no concept of preferred supplier. There are a number of different ways that you can assign suppliers to products. Here we're looking at the product edit screen in the vendors or suppliers tab. And you can choose multiple suppliers by holding down the control or the command key whilst you select the suppliers. Another way to assign suppliers to products is in bulk using the product list. Select a number of products and then from the menu choose set supplier. Select your supplier and then you can choose whether to unlink your old suppliers or not. If you choose yes, this will replace any supplier links you have for those products. If you choose no, it'll actually append this supplier onto the list of available suppliers for that product. The last way to set suppliers on your products is by importing a spreadsheet. So here we've gone to setup, data slash import and import products, and I've created a new data map called set supplier using the SKU. If I edit this data map, we can see what it contains. It's literally just the SKU and the supplier name. It's important to remember that suppliers are always companies. So even if it's just a person that supplies you, give them a company name because it's the supplier company name that we use. All you need to do then is upload a two column spreadsheet with SKU and supplier. This will append that supplier to the list of suppliers for the product. And if you wanted to add multiple suppliers, just have multiple rows in the spreadsheet with the same SKU. And that's all you need to know about assigning suppliers to products.